Uh, we're talking about glowfish again today, but for a reason that might surprise you. These colorful fish you see in aquariums weren't originally meant to be pets. In fact, they were created by scientists at the University of Singapore for a very different purpose, detecting pollutants in water. The idea was to make a fish look normal, but give them the ability to glow in the presence of toxins. But before they could do that, the scientists had to figure out how to make the fish express coloration in the first place. They used a technique called microinjection, which involves injecting fish embryos at a very early stage when there are only one or two cells with linear DNA. This DNA is more likely to integrate into the fish's genome than circular DNA. Survival rates for the injected fishes varied, but eventually scientists were able to create a fish that had noticeable coloration. These fish are known as transgenic fish, and there are a few different methods for creating them, but microinjection is the one that's most common. Eventually, Glowfish got a license to produce the first pet transgenic fish, and that's how those bright, colorful fish ended up in our home. More recently, scientists have used a technique called CRISPR-Cas9 to modify the genes of betta fish and give them specific colors. These bettas, however, have been discontinued and will soon disappear. So, love them or hate them, just remember they were originally created for a very different purpose.